We are back, folks, and we are back properly this time. I have finished work. Sally's been and gone. We've done some work on her van, which was great to see her, and it's great to help her along. I have cleaned out my garage, sold off a load of tools. I've got it turned into a workshop, ready to start. Today, we begin properly the, the final run on getting this thing finished. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. I can't believe we've got about 12 or 13 videos in this Sprinter Build series, yet the back of the van is still empty. How I've managed to do that, I don't know. Now we have got a lot of background stuff done, but from here on in, it's gonna accelerate fast. As you know, I'm not working anymore and we are looking to get away as quick as possible because every month we're here, I'm paying rent on this house. Uh, also, it's beautiful today, but the weather's not gonna last, is it? So we wanna get away before the winter kicks in. So it's gonna be a bit of a balance between getting the, the content out, but also trying to get the van done as quick as possible. So in some areas, I'm probably not gonna film and I'm just gonna have days just bashing out as much work as I can. Anything I think is relevant or will make a nice video, such as today, we're gonna to be putting a window in the side, a nice hinged fold-up window. After that, I'm probably gonna start wiring in the van. And I don't think I need to film myself just threading wires through walls for about a day and a half. I think it's much more beneficial for me to just get that job done and I can show you afterwards and talk you through it. But you are my community. You guys are fantastic and I wouldn't be doing this without you and I couldn't do this without you. So I do want to hear your opinions, please, down in the comments. Tell me what you wanna see. Do you want me to talk you through in more detail? I've had comments uh, last week saying people want more information on what it is I'm doing. I'm not necessarily a professional, but I've got a good knowledge of it now. I've done the little van twice, so this is my third conversion, plus obviously being a joiner and a plumber, I've got some knowledge there in that area. And I've put in my, my own YouTube research over the last few years as well. If you want more information about the jobs I'm doing, I will happily try and add it as more of a tutorial, whereas originally this was gonna be more just watching us fumble through it and uh, you know make it up as we go along. But like I say, Drop it in the comments, tell me what you want to see more of, and I will try and uh, help you out with that. Otherwise, I think it's time to go and get John, and we're going to get the window, I'm going to show you that, and we're going to get it installed today. It's going in today. And here it is. This is the Adventurer one meter by 50 centimeter window. I'll just take this off, this is the rear frame. So this thing pops up like that. It's a bit hard when it's just sat here on my own. And then you just pull it back down like that, which I think is gonna be fantastic. So the idea here is obviously when it's raining, we can have a window open. With the slidey windows, we can't do that. And the way they make these things now is it's low profile, which is really nice. You'll know from caravan windows and traditional like motorhome windows, these things are normally made out of plastic and uh, they bubble right out. But this is nice and flat, yet it is bubbled out on the back so you've got double glazing for noise and for temperature control. Let's see how this is gonna fit. Now first things first, where this rear frame meets the front, we've got a gap. So that is for the skin of the van. And also, we're gonna to have to build a wooden frame to fit there so we can pull these two things tight together, the rear frame and the front frame tight together and sandwich the sicker flex in and keep us watertight. Measuring that, I've got about 24 mil there. The skin of the van doesn't even come into play. It's about a millimeter if that. Um, I would rather have a little bit of breathing space. So we want about 25 uh, 25 millimeter thickness piece of wood. And I don't know if I've got any or if I'm gonna to have to go shopping before we can do this. Why do I get the feeling that this is just gonna take all day? One hour later. 
So yes, I had to go and buy some wood. We got a bit extra as well, it'll always get used. Right, I'll just measure up, get this frame cut. I'm gonna see if I can get this done today. I'm a bit under pressure. <laughs> it's, uh, we've lost a lot of the day already. There we go, a little bit crude, but it'll do. Um, doesn't really matter, it doesn't need to be structurally sound. All that is doing is getting sandwiched in between the outer and inner frame, as you know, uh, with a load of sicker flex, so it won't be going anywhere. And I think it's time to start marking up the, the wall, I think. Right, sir, so we need to figure exactly where this is going. Now, obviously it doesn't want to be near the bathroom window, I'd say it wants to be as far forward as we can get it, really. Mm. Considering Ella's chair, that would put Ella's chair right in the middle of it. What do you think? Mm. And it wants to look balanced on the uh, frame outside. I think this is going to need quite a bit of careful calculation. Yeah. Because the difference with this one is, do you remember on the other side, we just cut around that line, don't you? Mm -hmm. And that just fits. This one's very different. We've not done one like this before. So I think the thing to do is go and measure the panel outside and drill a pilot hole so we get the center. Well, we can then get the center from. Sound like a plan? It's a plan. Okay. We're going outside. Right, okay, so. Seventy-eight. What's half of 78, maths boy? 78. Uh, That'd be 35, 39, wouldn't it? So that puts it there. Now I was hoping it'd go a bit further forward. Can you hold that there? Let me step back and look at it. No, no, all of it. Right, we figured out our center point. Unfortunately, the camera cut out because it was too hot, believe it or not. Um, so I'm going to pilot that through to the inside. And there's that first hole. Oh, now we know there's no going back. This has to happen today. Right, there we go. We have just checked it with the frame and it comes quite close to this front corner, which is where we wanted it to be fair. It doesn't matter on the inside because we'll be building walls up in here anyway. It was the outside aesthetics that mattered the most and I wanted to get it as far forward as possible. So we're happy with that. Right, so what we've got to do now is make sure we get this window level. Now I watched a guy on YouTube this morning uh, doing it and he was measuring from the bottom of the sill and drawing a line across because you can't really trust any of these other lines that are on the van because they all slightly, you know, either curve down or curve up somewhere. Um, so we will try that. I'm actually thinking we can do it from the black trim. So let's say that one, that is nine, seven, sort of six. So if I was to go nine, seven, six here, nine, seven, six here. John, can you get me a straight edge, please? Like a, a level, mm -hmm. the, the longer of the yellow ones. It's on the shelves to your left, keep going. So, no, I'm not using the level to check level. I just want a straight edge to draw a line with. So, pencil mark to hole to pencil mark. Now, we don't worry about that because it's all going to be getting cut out. How does that look, John? Stand back. Mm -hmm. Hello, mittens. What you doing? Can you see how that sort of matches with that? But this, this one here looks like it bends down, but yeah. does that look straight to you? Mm. I think it looks good. Yeah, it does. Because I'm matching with the bottom. That says 3-8 sort of 1, 3-8-3. Three, 3-8. 
nine and a bit. That's five. That says it's going uphill by five millimeters. But surely that stripe is like straight down the side of the van. Mm -hmm. I suppose the thing to do now is check it from the bottom of it. Can you, can you hold that in on the bottom of there as tight as you can get it, please? One, one, seven, four. Ah, now that's interesting. That works. Goodness me, right. <laughs> is that a good thing? I don't know. Right, then the other thing the guy was doing, off the, it was off the sill. Is there a place there where we can do it like underneath there, please? One, four, three, exact. What did I say, one, four, three? Mm -hmm. One, four, three. But you see, this is one, four, two. Ooh. How confusing. I really don't know what to do, to be perfectly honest. That line matches the um, trim, the black trim. It doesn't match that line or that line, those lines tell me it's going uphill or they ever so slightly come downhill towards the front of the van. Measuring it from the sill at the bottom, it says the opposite. That says it's coming downhill and it wants to go up more. I think if we went up any more, it'd look very bizarre against these. So I think we might be kind of all right where we are. I'm gonna do a couple of more measure, measury experiments just to ignore me for a while. Right. Right, this does my head in. Uh, the guy who did Sally's van said the same thing and I thought, yeah, I'll be fine, I'll be all right with this, but I'll be honest, yeah, you don't know what line to go with. We've just measured these three points I've made down to the floor in here and they're exactly the same. So that for me makes a lot of sense because if I'm gonna use uh, like tongue and groove um, cladding, which I think I'm going to, but I'm not sure, then as those strips come up, they're gonna be perfectly aligned to the window. So that makes sense from the inside, but it does not match this outer framing at all. It's about five mil out. So whether that looks weird from the outside or not, I don't know. You've got to compromise somewhere. We've got to make a little compromise somewhere. Now, obviously we're going to go ahead and cut this right now, but tell me what you would do. Please drop in the comments what you would have done in this situation. Would you match it to the lines of the van on the outside? Or would you have it more about the inside and it might look a bit off on the outside? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Tell me, please, because I haven't got a clue here. We're just making it up as we go along. Aren't we, dude? Yep. It takes a lot of thought, this. Call me crazy, but I'm a bit weary about cutting holes in the side of my van. The other one was a lot easier because it was like I did on the Vivaro. You just follow this line and you can't go wrong. This one's very different. Anyway, we've got our centre point. We've got our level. I am going to measure from these holes to get top, bottom, left, right, and so on and so forth. Then we'll square it up, draw it out, drill some pilot holes and get a jigsaw to it. Okay, this is proving to be way more tricky than I thought. Because <laughs> I've done a, quite a few windows now, I thought, yeah, no worries, bash, we'll get a window in. Hmm, very tricky. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to trim my wooden frame I've made to fit around these in order for me to mark it up, or I might try and cut those out, but I've gotta be so careful because I don't wanna damage the outer skin. Um, but because outside it looks very central, which is nice, 
it means it comes quite low down here, which is fine. It's an absolutely fine height, but then it means my frame's too big and it's going to start hitting this. So I'm going to have to router out a bit of the frame. That being said, I'm going to be at this for quite a while. I've released John. Now, a lot of you guys out there comment about how lovely it is that uh, he and I work together on this project all the time, and it is. But at the end of the day, he's a teenage boy. His cousins called him saying, oh, do you want to come out and play? He just lives down in the town. Um, he's like, can I go? Can I go? I'm like, yeah, go on. Go, go, go. Uh, I can't, you know, deny him that. As much as I would love him to be here continuing this job with me, and for years to come, we can look at it and say we did that together. We did do it together. Just a few jobs he can he can run off and be a teenager, can't he? So, yeah. I'm going to turn you off for a minute so I can think without thinking about what I'm going to say to, to you. <laughs> and when I've got a plan, yeah, then I'll bring you back and we can have a look at it again. Okay, I have a plan. As usual, as with everything, it's all about compromises. There's the place where I want to put it but the place where it's going to be easier to fit is just ever so slightly back a bit and ever so slightly up a bit. We're talking millimetres, it's nothing. In my head it's big, but it's really nothing. No one will ever notice and ask, why did you put it like that? What I am going to do, however, to make my own life easier is I'm going to grind the top and bottom of these and see if we can get them off because they're in my way. I don't want to chop my wooden frame up to fit around them, um, I think. Or do I do the wooden frame? <laughs> I don't know. You're going to find out in a second, aren't you? Because I'll be doing it. It looks like we're grinding. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, please drop in the comments if you're doing it differently. And I know most people do do it differently. They just hack those things from the outside um, with a jigsaw. But... I wanted to do it my way. Now that's a much nicer clean flat surface for me to work from, in my opinion. I like that. If I want it more or less where it was going to be before, I've just got to make some trimmings on the wood in the bottom corner. Right, let's test that out. So that that I made there, take those off, is to get us over that bit there, <laughs> we hope. Ah, oh, which it more than achieves. So what that's gonna mean is that the window is literally gonna be 10 millimeters higher than I originally wanted it. That makes no difference whatsoever but I get to have it as far forward as I wanted. So yeah, I've just thought of something. I don't know if I've got any uh, uh, metal jigsaw blades because my jigsaw died, didn't it? And I just threw it all away when I bought the new one. Because if not, and I've got to go screw fix, I think I'll do it before I make any big holes in the van, hey? Do I have blades? No, of course I don't have blades. Where are we going? Screw fix. Harmony of this planet. And just like that, we're back. Now it did occur to me, I was almost home and I thought, oh, I need some stuff to cook tonight because if I don't go now, if I put this, if I get this window in today, I'm not gonna be able to drive the van, am I, till tomorrow? So, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, uh, whew, tired. Let's pilot some holes, let's make a big hole. <laughs> Right, we've got a bit of tape on. I'm just going to mark it up.
still with me? Yep. Hole. Hello, you bailed out on me then. Uh, you overheated, I do apologize. I sat you in the sun. Um, well, you've been cooling off. I've just gone around and put some hammerite around the edges of this, which is to stop it rusting for those who are new, but for everyone who's been around for a while, you've seen us do that many times. I had some black, so I'm gonna use it up. I'll keep my silver for stuff that I'm gonna see on externally. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea while that dries, and then we're gonna put it in. We're gonna put it in. Hello. Hello. What's that? I win. Oh. All right, that is a dry fit, I'm afraid. Oh, you're all covered in dust. Um, I'm afraid we had to just crack on with it. Uh, the sun's going down, we've got to eat. So as usual, time gets away with us. That is just a dry fit. It's masked off, ready for the Sikaflex that's gonna go around. Actually, Tiger Seal we're using because it was all I could lay my hands on today. Um, does the job. So, really happy with it. It's gonna look fabuloso. The only problem is this frame I've made might be a couple of millimeters too thick and the screws are struggling to, well, the screws only just get through and meet the frame on the outside. With Sikaflex in there, it's gonna push off by a millimeter or two. So I've got some bigger screws just in case, but they're not the right ones. So it's time to do it properly. We're gonna take this down and we're gonna stick the Sikaflex on, tiger seal, and then we're gonna do it. There you go. Okay, tiger seal. Right, I've got a bit of leftover white Sikaflex here. I'm just gonna use this, put a small bead on this wood to hold it. Not much, because if I add any millimeters to this lot, them screws are not gonna catch. Right, are you in a comfy position there? Is it working out for you? Yeah. Right. That's in where it's meant to be. You've definitely got yourself in where you want to be with your yep. things, yeah? Yep. Right. What's the bets that these screws will not reach? Right, where are you pushing? You're pushing there. Right, are you giving me a push? Are you actually pushing or are you just holding? I don't mind, just tell me. Um, pushing a bit. Oh, I got a grip at the bottom. Right, I've got a couple in the bottom, that's a good thing. Problem is, that, that means the top will be pushing out of it. I want you to push it in at the middle at the top, okay? Okay. Middle. Yes, that got hold. Other top corner, swap. Can't believe they're actually biting. <laughs> I'm going round now and starting to get them all in. Okay. Is it squeezing more Sikaflex out? Um, tiger seal. Uh, looks like it, yeah. We in? <laughs> I think we're in, dude. I've just got a couple more to fit in, but they'll go in easy, so. Can I let go? Yeah, you can let go. Hippie. Can you get me my Fugi kit? You know my Fugi kit? It's on the the bench in there, yeah? The bench in where? Oh, found it. You know it? Yep, yep, yep. Good lad. Right, clear up the uh, tiger seal. And we're done. Right, mister, this is a job well done. I'm so glad you got back at the time you did, because uh, I'd have been pretty stuffed trying to do that on my own, wouldn't I? Whew. It's going to look good, but the problem with anything black sealant, it gets on everything. And even the slightest bit that's not right here is going to look hideous. So I'm going to do the unveiling. I'm going to pull all the tape off and uh, hopefully it's not too bad. I'm sure there'll be some little bits I need to touch up, but here we go. John, you want to come and watch this, mate?
Oh, there's a couple of bits on the bottom there, that's a shame. Oh, and another bit. Okay, okay, okay. We can fix, we can fix. Is it coming off okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is it satisfying? Yeah. <laughs> and the satisfying final reveal. Go on, sir. Amazing. That looks really good, doesn't it? That was a bit of that sticker. Oh no. It's a, oh, it's to stop it sticking to the glass. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And that's held on so well that we probably could just very quickly do a test of it. I wasn't going to. Should we get the L? Let's get the L. And she'll probably put us down and tell us why it's wrong, I'm sure. Let's go get her. All right, let's, here we go. So it has one, two, three, four, five of those. And then it opens up like that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then yes, it's got the blackout blind and the uh, fly net as well. Hang on, is she coming? Hi Al. What is going on here? Oh, have a seat, Elle, have a seat. And look, there you go. Do you want to push it, push it up? Uh, push it all the way up. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, there's fingerprints on it. Okay. Doesn't matter, we'll clean it. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah. Doesn't it change the van again? Yeah. Hi, mate, are you hungry? Is that what that's about? Yeah. I'm hungry. That was a successful day. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Food. Food. Are you all looking at the cats? Right, yeah. so Ella's looking at the neighbour's cat. She's not interested in that window that I've spent no, all day no, doing. No, it's Tell me how good it is. Yeah, Pardon? Ten. Yeah. Ten. Thank you. I got a ten. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> right, thanks for the viewing, darling. Let's change the van again, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, we're going to pack up. Hey! So, it's been a few days since Ella gave us her honest opinion about my window and the cats of course and I've been busy I've been doing some wiring and like I said earlier in the video it wasn't something that I intended on filming too much plus it was a couple of rainy days and I just got myself cozied up in the back of the van with some music and uh, podcasts and put a light on and just got on with it no cameras just me the music and the wires so a sneaky peek believe it or not I know exactly what each one of those is doing as you can see they're all labeled um, I've had to drill a couple of holes here and there to run wires through certain places. We've got some more holes around there, all sprayed and treated. These wires are heading off all over the van for various sockets and lights. Actually, no, I haven't done the lights yet. I am going to show you a little bit more in the next video. I've just realised how much footage we've got on this video. I think that's enough, so we don't need any more today. Next week, we're going to be looking at fitting these in the side of the van. That is a water inlet. That is the electrical inlet just when you thought you'd cut your last hole in the side of your van. Now, if you haven't subscribed and liked already, please do that because it helps us out loads. And you could also jump over onto our Patreon where you're going to get updates on the van before everyone else. The only thing left to say is goodbye and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.